There have been quite a few attempts to set up a women's professional league over the years. The first was WUSA, the Women's United Soccer Association, which commenced play in 2001 and brought the best female players from around the world to the USA. One of them was German forward Baron Meinert, who spent three happy seasons at the Boston Breakers. I know it was a great adventure, but it's always going to be a huge challenge to establish a fully-fledged professional league for us. We have a semi-professional setup now in Germany, which I think is the right approach. We're still not in a position to have a proper professional league in the women's game. <laughs> the league folded in 2003, but that same year, Meinert was back in the States as one of a powerful German squad for the FIFA Women's World Cup. The USA hosted the event as last-minute replacement after the SARS epidemic forced China to stand down. Some felt the turn of events had given them an unlooked-for boost. It wasn't an issue. We were happy to play there. There were two ways we could have approached the tournament. We could go there concerned that they were able to defend their title on home soil again, or we could say, yes, we'll take on the challenge and we'll enjoy playing there because the USA is a real women's football nation. I think we knew from the very first day we had a team good enough to win the title. Germany scored 20 goals in winning their group and quarter-final. It put them into a last four encounter against the USA. The match in Portland was a tight affair, but the Germans scored early and kept a lid on any ambitions the hosts might have harboured. Meinert settled any lingering nerves in injury time. Well, to be honest, I didn't play well in the semi-final, and I saw very little action up front. It was the 90th minute, and I asked Birgit for the ball at that moment, because I'd run into space and was free. Next thing you know, Birgit had the ball at her feet, and I made sure that I remained clear on the right-hand side. With a couple of touches, I found myself behind the defence, and in a one-on-one -on -one situation with the goalkeeper, and I took a low shot straight into the corner of the net. And so to the fourth FIFA Women's World Cup final, Germany against Sweden at the stadium of Los Angeles Galaxy in Carson. It had been a long tournament though, and expectations were weighing heavily on the Germans, who went into the game as strong favourites. The game was staged very early, I remember. It seemed to take place at 10 in the morning, and we still weren't fully awake in the first half. We couldn't get into the rhythm of the game. In addition, we had a week-long gap between the semi-final and the final, which was unusual. It was difficult to get motivated again after our semi-final success against the Americans. Neither team had won the tournament before. The Germans with Meinert in the lineup had lost the decider to Norway in 1995. But this encounter was a repeat of the 2001 European final, which Germany won. However, the Swedes took the game to their opponents, and Hanna Lundberg gave them a half time lead. It didn't last long. We were quite fortunate when we equalised. It wasn't a nice goal. I didn't hit the ball correctly, but the goalkeeper thought I did and reacted accordingly. As a result, it was a lucky strike and the ball hit the back of the net. Of course, it was important to score right after the break, but I'm not sure it was the turning point. I don't really believe that's the case. The match went to extra time, which in those days was a sudden death affair. So the second near Kunze's header hit the back of the net, Germany had become women's champions of the world for the very first time. People had been watching women's football out of curiosity, but I think this was the first tournament where supporters really got involved. It was quite something when we were welcomed back at the Roma, the big hall in Frankfurt. I always remember the square when there were just a few Japanese tourists, but now it was packed. Of course, it was a fantastic experience. It made us feel that women's football had somehow arrived in Germany and that it was going to develop a great deal more. And develop, it certainly has.